today, uh, our customers are definitely into VTOL. Right. So fixed wings, kind of a thing of the past, not totally, mm -hmm. um, but they want to be able to launch and recover from a small area. Vector, you can do it in a three by three meter area. Right. Um, they also want it to fly autonomously. So right. the, one of the trends is getting away from pilots and having operators. Operators, okay. Um, so they, you know, our training classes typically run four days, uh, whereas others may run two weeks uh, to get somebody up to speed. Um, other trends we're seeing is the inclusion of autonomy and AI in the platform, actually having the platform do multiple things without the operator involved, right. whether that's uh, trying to navigate in a GPS denied environment or doing object detection and classification on its own on the platform. So, um, so yes. it's all about reducing the load from the operator Correct. and, and may, like allowing them to focus Correct. on the decision making rather than controlling that, the airplane. Totally right. correct. And also distributed operations where uh, we're basically beaming information out to distributed operators. So our data link technology is based on mesh networks. It's just basically the number of nodes in the network. And you, can, you don't even have to be an operator to see the imagery from Vector. So that's a, that's a big plus. Um, I'm giving a talk later today on eVTOLs and autonomy and, and AI, um, which is kind of near and dear to my heart. Uh, I think that's going to become more and more the trend of these platforms act as intelligent agents as opposed to being, you know, the operator teleporting into the platform. Right, right.